PET CT scan is a dual imaging modality. It is where we look at functional as well as anatomical imaging. That's why it's called a PET CT. First of all, we inject you with a radioactive substance, which is then taken up into the cells. It's a glucose that we inject, but it is radioactive. So the idea behind that is that all cells that's more metabolically active takes up more of this sugar, basically, and it then gets trapped within the cells. It then is projected when we scan the patient as hot spots on the patient. Mostly we work with oncology patients. Basically all different cancers takes up this FDG. Some of the cancers doesn't take it up that well, but we know which ones those are. However, it can also be used in infection imaging, also in inflammatory diseases. Then we will inject you with a radioactive glucose. The injection won't make you feel funny, it won't make you feel sleepy, there's no side effects from it. After the injection, we ask you to sit still for an hour after the injection while this radioactivity gets taken up into all the cells. We will then put you on the scanner. You will then be repositioned by a radiographer into the correct position. And usually the scans are done from, we say, eyes to thighs. In certain cases, for example, in melanoma, we will scan your whole body this is the radiographer's workstation, so all acquisition takes place here. The scanning itself takes about half an hour, processing takes roughly about five to ten minutes. We reconstruct the images, transfer the images through to the doctor's station and that's where they can view it. This is a patient that was also scanned and unfortunately we detected some disease in this patient. So again as you can see the rotating image here on the left hand side, there's multiple areas that shows intense uptake. The radiation that we use is actually still very low. The um, injected activity that we give is obviously depending on the patient's weight we work out what is the injected activity we need to give. It has been proven that just one of these studies wouldn't cause an increase in cancer risk later in your life. The radiation dose gets excreted quite fast again from your system and you're no danger to your loved ones or anyone at home.